afternoon and welcome back to Blazing News. I'm Shannon Clow here with your campus news for this week. As some of you may not be aware, this week is Body Appreciation Week. Monday through Thursday, there will be different events held in Core Union, including speakers and workshops. Everyone is more than welcome to join and donations for the cause will be accepted. For this week's sandwich seminar, Rachel Ann Coughlin a graduate student will be making a presentation on behalf of the English department on February 26th at 12.30 in Brockway Hall. For more information, you could check your SUNY Cortland email. For anyone interested in helping out the Red Cross, there will be a blood drive held Wednesday, February 26th at 11.30 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. in the Interfaith Center. You can make an appointment by calling 1-800-RED-CROSS or by signing up online at redcrossblood.org. Anyone who would like to voice their opinion about Cortica can attend a meeting on Thursday, February 27th at 7 p.m. in Sperry. Pizza will be served and everyone is welcome to come say whatever they'd like. For those of you looking to make money this summer, there will be a summer job and internship fair in Cora Union this Wednesday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. This is open to all students in all majors looking for summer employment. And just a reminder, any athletes are that are looking to sign up for intramural sports, the deadline is coming up on March 4th at 3 p.m. You can check your Cortland email or go online to register. I'm Shannon Clow, and that has been all your campus news for today. Now over to Brooke Wilson with What's Hot on Campus. Hi everybody, my name is Brooke Wilson and this is What's Hot on Campus brought to you by 20CSTV. The Winter Olympic Games in Sochi have come to an end. The closing ceremony, which aired on NBC Sunday night, was not nearly as watched as the opening ceremony two weeks ago. The two-hour event featured dancers, visual arts, and music, including a composition of nearly 62 grand pianos. Every came to a smooth close as fireworks shot above the stadium and the 2014 Winter Games were officially over. In the medal race, host nation Russia came first with 13 gold medals and 33 total. Norway came in second with 11 gold, 26 total, followed by Canada with 10 gold medals and 25 total. The United States came in fourth with 9 gold medals and 29, 28 medals in all. Some highlights of the games include the U.S.'s first gold medal on opening day from snowboarder Sage Kostenberg. Also, Steve Holcomb took home the bronze on the final day with a history-making bobsled run. There were also disappointments for the U.S. team, such as Sean White's lack of medals or getting shut out of a long track speed skating and the men's hockey team losing to Canada. Overall, the U.S. had a great run in Sochi, and we now have four years to look forward to the next Winter Games in South Korea. It's that time of year again where actors and actresses seem to be popping up everywhere. It's award show season, and although many award shows have already occurred, some of the most anticipated are still yet to come. The Golden Globes, the SAG Awards, and the Grammys have warmed us all up to what movies and important people are favored to win the Academy Awards, or better known as the Oscars. The Oscars will air next weekend on sun Sunday, March 2nd at 7 p.m. Ellen DeGeneres will return to host a show, which many viewers are excited for. The nominations were announced on January 16th, and some of the favorites include Leonardo DiCaprio for Best Actor and Jennifer Lawrence for Best Supporting Actress. Best Picture will be a tough race with nominations from Wolf of Wall Street, American Hustle, Captain Phillips, and much more. Make sure to watch on March 2nd and tune in to Blazing News on March 4th for our special follow-up on the event. Finally, the thing that students seem to be saying all over campus is when is this snow going to end? For the past couple of days, it may have seemed like the end was near, but this is not the case. Since last November and early December, it seemed as though Cortland has been nothing less than a winter wonderland. But it's not just Cortland or New York alone. All regions of the U.S. have been experiencing extreme winters. The Arctic blast in January had at least half the nation in below zero temperatures, and parts of New York hit around negative 25 degrees. February wasn't March b much better when generally warm Atlanta, Georgia completely shut down after three inches of snow. Meteorologists say these crazy weather conditions are happening because of a change in the jet stream. The North Pole is warming up, causing the jet stream to dip into the northern and midwestern areas of the U.S. 
Although many of you are getting cabin fever and can't wait for spring to come, we still have a few more long weeks of winter ahead of us. That's all for what's hot on campus. Once again, I'm Brooke Wilson from 20CS TV. Stay tuned for Justine Marshner with her Cortland Community News. Welcome back to Blazing News. I'm Justine Marshner with your Cortland Community News. Last week, a fire destroyed a trailer in Cortlandville. Officials say the fire started shortly before 8 a.m. at the Penguin Trailer Park on Kingsley Avenue. When Cortlandville firefighters arrived, they say they found a single wide trailer in flames and smoke throughout the building. It took 20 firefighters about 15 minutes to put out the fire, with help from departments in Cortland, Homer and Dryden. A family of four lived in the home and are being assisted by the Cortland Red Cross chapter. The cause of the fire is under investigation. The fire department estimates that the damage at $20,000. The winners of Cortland's annual Chilibration Chili Cook-Off have been announced. The Deli Downtown have claimed the Cortland's area's best chili award for their Alice's White Chicken Chili Recipe. This is the second year in a row that this recipe has won. Mugs and tasting tickets seem to have sold out within the first hour of the event, and planners estimate well over 1,000 visited downtown for the event. One of two Cortland men who broke into a home on Lime Hollow Road in Cortlandville last year was in county court Thursday for sentencing. 40-year-old Brian Valentino of East Main Street, Cortland, will spend up to five years in prison for his role in the burglary. In March of last year, Valentino and 29-year-old Michael Betters of Cortland went to a home on Lime Hollow Road where they entered the home and stole jewelry, a TV, and other valuables. That's all for your Cortland Community News. Tune in next week to see what's happening in your community.